Hello everyone, let us start with the second lecture um, that follows the first lecture uh, where we obtain the state space realization. And in this lecture, we are looking at the following. Given the state space representation, so we have a state space representation that is given space representation given as A, B, C, D system which A, B, C, D they represent the matrices of the x dot equal A, X plus B, U, Y equals C, X plus D, U system we are interested how to build from given state space uh, 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 representation uh, realization of the system realization of the system using simple circuitry electric circuitry elements such as first integrator integrator, second summator or summation element and gain simple gain element what are those? those three elements are uh, basic elements of the digitalized control system configurations and one can easily find these and buy and essentially the build the circuitry electric circuitry of the particular state space model for example what is the integrator integrator is the device that takes the signal and integrates that signal in other words is just like integration that we know from the mathematics in other words if i have an x dot signal that is coming into the integrator, I will integrate x dot signal and it will become x of t. Summator is also the device that is intuitively understood if I have a two elements, if I have two signals, x1 and x2, and we sum these two summation, provides the summation of these signals, x1 plus x2, and the gain, gain is the simple element that amplifies the signal. So X is amplified by K element, so essentially the signal becomes KX signal at the output. So this gain, summator or summation element and integrator are three integral, three integral elements uh, with which uh, uh, we can build the state space realization uh, of these uh, 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 physical model. In other words, if we think about previously a two tank system, I will just sketch here. This is how the two tank system looked like. Uh, here we had the heights. Uh, here was the high H1, H2. Uh, we had uh, some valve characteristics here, and we have uh, two flows. This was F2, this was F3, and this was F1. The state space representation of uh, this uh, model look as follows. It was H1, H2 dot, and we had from the previous lecture that minus 1 by K1 a1 0 were elements 1 by k 1 a2 minus 1 by a2 k2 
multiplies the vector of the states, states where H1 and H2, and we have an input matrix 1 by A01, and here was a 0, and this is F of 1 of T. For this model, we are just going to assume that Y of T is going to be just F3 of T, such that the matrix of the system C is going to take the following form. Two. And here again we have a H1, H2, plus 0, F1 of T. In other words, if we look now in this A, B, C, and D matrix, and we just utilize these three elements, we should be able to represent this state space in a signal structure where we will just have a signals, integrators, summators, and gates. Let, let us do that. Okay, so if I have a H1 dot and H2 dot, I have a two differentials. Therefore, I will need to have a two integrators to obtain essentially H1 signal. Let us place here immediately two integrators. So I'm having that H1 dot signal is coming into the integrator and generates H1. Here I will write that H2 dot comes into another integrator, so for the two-dimensional system, we will have uh, two integrators. And let us construct the first equation. We see that h dot signal is equal to the h1 multiplies this coefficient and multiplies the input. Therefore, we are constructing that here, it's a summation element that has to take h1 signal multiplied by the gain. Which gain? Gain is this, minus 1 by k1a1. k1 goes into here, and from here it gets sum with a signal that is coming from this input. In other words, here is a 1 by A1 gain, where F1 of T is input, multiplies by this gain, gets multiplied by this gain, and gets summed, and all of this generates H1. Is this what we have in the equation? Yes, H1 dot is this element multiplies H1 plus 1 by A1 F1 of T. Therefore, we realize the first ordinary differential equation. Let us look in a second. Here, we have that H1 goes and multiplies 1 by k1 a2 and it gets sum with the element that is again h2 multiplies minus 1 by a2 k2 K2, K2. In other words, we generated the second equation 
there is no input here. F10, we formally can have a line from here, from F1, that will play zero gain element and sum it here, but there is no necessity to write that because this element is zero. So we essentially want to save on the circuitry that we are going to build. Therefore, the final equation is the last equation where we just have that output is multiplied by 1 by k2 so h2 multiplies 1 by k2 we just realize this element 1 by k2 multiplies h2 is f3 of t we again we don't have any zero d element present because there is no line that will go from f1 all the way and sub, uh, sum into the d's signal. Therefore, we realize the input f1, f3 realization of the system. Essentially, for the first time, we see that the state space realization will also give us input output realization because if I just make this now as a box we will have that this input f1 is input so f1 input and f3 is output In other words, this entire block now represents something like a transfer function that we are going to learn later on. We can just write that f1 multiplies this transfer function and produces f3 of t. Also, just for the sake of the uh, 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 being more specific, this ABC state space representation also requires initial conditions and usually initial conditions are specified here this is for the integrator and this is just written as H1 at 0 and H2 at 0 H1 at 0 sorry and H2 at 0 here in other words, now this is complete system representation. In general, we might know or we might not know uh, initial conditions. So this, we might have ability to initialize H2 of 0, H1 of 0, or we just don't know those. But in any of these cases, uh, if system starts evolving, so from some initial condition or some arbitrary or some guest initial conditions, these circuitry design that we made here uh, will represent this two-tank uh, model. We also see that this state space realization in the circuitry by using just integrated summator and gain uh, leads to some input output system representation or the representation will be utilize the transfer function 